Hey guys, Dusty here. Today I'm giving my review on the new Cloudflow from On Running. So this is the third version of the Cloudflow to come out from On Running. And if you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll know that the previous two versions of the Cloudflow were some of my favorite daily trainers. And like always, in this review, I'll go over the basic stats on the shoe, the fit, the feel, and finally, if I think it's a buy or not. My men, size 8.5, weighs in at 8.7 ounces, or 246 grams. Now this is actually a little bit heavier than the previous version, and usually when a shoe gets heavier, I personally think that's going in the wrong direction, unless it's um, solving a major issue with, that the previous shoe had. And the previous version of this didn't have any huge issues, but with that being said, the weight gain in the new one is very, very small, and this shoe isn't trying to be the most cushioned shoe or the most lightweight shoe. The shoe is more of just a good all-around shoe. So just a slight increase in weight gain, um, not the end of the world for the shoe. Where I believe most of the weight gain came from is the stack height. So the Cloud Flow has a six millimeter heel to toe drop, and on doesn't do a very good job of putting what the actual stack height is out on the internet. But I have read on one site that it has a stack height of 30 millimeters in the rear and 24 in the forefoot, which would make the stack height more than the previous version. And that's probably where most of this weight gain has come from. The upper on the cloud flow, really nice, uh, no issues. On is using 70% recycled polyester, no issues with breathability. The laces are an upgrade on the last model. Uh, the last model had really long, skinny, silk-like uh, laces. These ones are the proper length, and they're quite a bit thicker and not that slippery uh, silk material that easily comes undone. The Cloud Flow has a gusseted tongue, sits really nice on the foot, has slightly more padding than the previous version, and that's gonna help relieve any pressure on the top of the foot if you tie your laces up too tight. There is a decent amount of structure to this heel counter, decent padding inside the heel as well, and then inside the shoe there's a built-in sock liner like most on shoes, and it gives a really, really nice on-foot feel. And because of that sock liner, you should be able to wear the shoe barefoot without any issues. So for those of you triathletes watching, um, good option for a tri shoe, uh, speed up your transitions because you don't have to put socks on. For those of you wondering, the insole is removable. And then we move along to the midsole, and this is something that makes on shoes pretty unique. You can see each of these individual cloud pods. In the cloud flow, these pods run the length of the shoe, and that's essentially the, the cushioning system. So each of these cloud pods will compress on each foot strike, and then decompress when your foot leaves the ground, giving you cushion and energy return that way. On is using their Helion foam in the shoe, and it's a little bit on the firm side when compared to some of the other midsole foams out there on the market. So it's not gonna be an ultra soft ride like a Hoka or the Nike Invincible, which uses the Zoom X foam. But I like the cushion of the shoe. Um, it's not too much, it's not too little. Uh, it's kind of right there in that sweet spot. Now sitting on top of this midsole is what On calls their speed board. And every On running shoe has a speed board in it. Essentially it's a full length plastic plate. Um, works kind of like a carbon fiber plate in the race shoes. Um, but essentially it's gonna load up every foot strike and then help propel you forward. Might add a little bit of stiffness to the shoe but you can see it's still pretty flexible. But yeah, the speed board is just something that you're always going to get in an on-running shoe. One negative about this shoe, and almost all other on-running shoes as well, is that you want to stick mostly to pavement because of these cloud pods. So because these cloud pods are separated and there is this channel running in the middle, um, there can be a tendency, especially if you're running on gravel, to get a rock stuck in the bottom. Now that's not the biggest deal, it's not the end of the world, but it does get annoying when it happens time and time again, and sometimes you actually have to stop running and pick the rock out of the bottom of the shoe. But for the most part, if you stick to pavement, you shouldn't have any issues, and when you do get a rock stuck, usually you can just kick it out while you're running. The outsole on the Cloud Flow has rubber in all the same places as the previous version, um, but I like the slight change that they've made in the texture. I think it's gonna make it even grippier on wet surfaces, which the first version of the shoe was very, very slippery on wet surfaces. And there is quite a bit of exposed foam, but you still are getting rubber in all the high impact areas. All right, so let's talk a little bit about fit of the new Cloud Flow. So if you're familiar with the previous Cloud Flow, I would say the fit is almost the exact same. Um, it does fit true to size. I would say the width of the shoe is pretty average. It's gonna fit kind of a wide range of different foot types. But now for the first time ever, uh, the new Cloud Flow comes in a wide width. So for those of you that have a wide foot and you haven't been able to fit in an on running shoe or at least one of the previous Cloud Flows, now you might be able to because on's giving you an option of a wide width. 
So how does this shoe feel and who is it best used for? What types of distances? So first of all, if you've ran in the Cloud Flow version two, um, the fit and feel and ride of the shoe is almost identical. The only difference that I noticed was maybe a slightly more cushion in the forefoot, and that would be because of the increased stack height. And if you're a runner that doesn't need a huge rotation of shoes, you're looking just for one shoe to do it all for you, um, this one can be a really good option. Uh, you can do your easy runs, your recovery runs in the shoe. And then where I think the shoe performs really well, it's kind of on those medium pace to tempo effort runs. And I've even done some faster speed work in this shoe. I've taken the cloud flow, especially the previous version, to the track, and I've done some hard in intervals in it. And I've used this shoe for long runs. Uh, just last week, I took this one out for a 25K run, and I had no issues whatsoever. So in my opinion, the cloud flow does many things really well. Um, it probably isn't my favorite long run shoe. That's probably like the Asics Nova Blast or the Nike Invincible. And it's probably not my go-to shoe for recovery runs or easy runs. But if I had to pick one shoe to do it all, uh, then the Cloud Flow would definitely be in the running. Now we'll talk about price. Uh, the new Cloud Flow retails for 140 US or 170 Canadian. And I think that's a really good price considering how good of an all around shoe this is. But with that being said, uh, because this shoe feels so much like the previous version, I would probably pick that one up if you can find it in your size. So at least as of shooting this video right now, the previous Cloud Flow is selling for 99 US or 120 Canadian. And at that price to get a good running shoe that can do it all for you, um, that's a really good price. In regards of what distances the shoe can handle. Um, personally, I think it could handle anything from a 5K up to a marathon, but I think that sweet spot for a lot of you is gonna be between 5K and half marathon. I think a lot of people might say that this doesn't quite have enough cushion to get you through a marathon. So overall, Cloud Flow, really nice fitting shoe, decent amount of energy return, really smooth feeling through the gait cycle. Um, in my opinion, probably on running's best daily trainer. I don't know how many people I've recommended the Cloud Flow to and almost everybody has absolutely loved it and bought in a second or third pair. And if you've been running in a Cloud Flow, let me know down below in the comments what you think of it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.